How's it going? Nick from Virgineers here and up for review we've got a beer from the amazing Verdant and this is a double IPA. What are what's the dreams made of? <laughs> Struggled to, to read that but it says it on the back there. Hops are on the hot side mosaic on the cold side, dry hops with Mosaic, Nelson, Sorvin and Azaka. Barley, wheat and oats. Coming in at 8.4%. .4, I got this from Fuss Club. Um, now I bought this, this is about five weeks old. Maybe six, yeah, I've just bought too much beer. Yeah, so, um, but it says that it is canned at the end of June. Okay, June, July, August, September. Okay, so, the, so it's best before 11th of the 12th, yeah, so it's three months in date, but this beer is, you know, it's it, it, it's nearly three months old. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I think six weeks is the, uh, is the, say, the sweet spot, but it's been chilled, do you know what I mean? So, you know, delivered through a cold chain. I think the... The temperature it's kept at is, is most important. All the stuff I, I re, unless I tell you otherwise, everything I'm reviewing on the channel is cold chain basically. Yeah, bought direct from a brewer or a um, first club or something like that and then stored cold, not sitting on a shelf. Something that my beer engineer's partner Emmett, who also reviews beers, Cannot say because he buys from um, the Compton Offee. Excellent, but the problem is they store them on the shelf, and I'm sure they've got quick turnover. But nevertheless, doesn't really do it for me. That is a porridge. It's thick. Um, it's a finger and a half of bubbly white head. Let's go for the nose. Ooh. So I'm getting a sweet feetiness off that. Yeah, which doesn't sound great, but trust me, it bloody is. Yeah, so maybe a bit of tropical, bit of feetiness, that sort of thing. Not overpairing. Um, so let's go for it, chin chin. Ah, apologies, we're just at the end end of I think of a of a, of a, a storm that's been passing over. It's been pretty been biblical but it's calming down there. Oh, okay. So it's a great beer. It's a great beer. It's not blown me away though, which is unusual for Verdant. Verdant normally just knocks me away. You've got the mosaic indeterminate fruitiness, so lots of different fruits, can't pick anything out. Maybe it's just because of the different hops in it, you know, they're not my favourite hops. You know, mosaic, I mean Nelson, but there's I can't really I'm not really getting any Nelson off that. It must be deep in the mix. I'm just getting mosaic. Pick and mix C, dankness, that sort of thing. The body is a mate, the body's beautiful. Medium bodied, silky smooth. Oh, Little bit of cheese, little cheesy dankness in there, but a little bit I could do with maybe a bit more to be honest. Nice little tingle bitterness at the end. It's great, it's good, it's very good. But it's it's nowhere near up there with the, the, the verdant doubles I've had. So I'll give this I'll give this seven and Seven and a half out of ten, which is probably the lowest rated beer I've given for Verdant on the channel. And you might think that's like, well, that's not good, but it, it bloody is, you know, six and above. Um, it's just not my favourite hops, to be honest. Hasn't got quite the, the same, the, you know, the, the, the intensity that I, I demand. But I don't regret buying it. I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's just very mosaic heavy, which isn't my favourite thing. So you could argue, well, why did you buy it, Nick? It's Verdant, isn't it? 
Got it. Okay, so seven and a half out of ten for Verdant's What's a Dream's Made Of? 8.4% double IPA quality. Yeah, if you like Mosaic, get it. It's a really Mosaic dominant beer. Thanks for watching. Until next one, cheers.